Hi everyone, it's Coach Ambra, and in today's tutorial, I am going to be teaching you how to create an audiogram inside of Canva for the free 99. You heard me, free 99. Now, many of you are probably wondering, what is an audiogram, right? Well, if you've been scrolling up and down your timeline and you see people advertising their podcasts and then you hear audio with some little waves on the screen, that is what we call an audiogram, right? It's where you take a sound bite, you take a clip, you put it on a graphic, and then you're able to upload it to your platform of choice. So I'm gonna show you how to do that inside of Canva. I see a lot of times that people have used, um, especially podcasters, they use Headliner and they use Wave and a number of other platforms. But if you're already inside of Canva designing, it just makes sense for you to do as much as possible in one platform so that you're not constantly switching back and forth. So the first thing I want you to do is open up your Canva account and now I want you to decide, where am I going to post this audiogram? Um, am I going to post it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn? Where am I posting it, right? So for this tutorial, we're going to say that we're going to post this audiogram on Instagram because y'all know I love me some Instagram, right? So the first thing you want to do, since we're going to be doing this as if we're creating a podcast, so if we're advertising our podcast, our latest podcast episode, so I'm going to type in podcast in the search bar here. Now, when you open this up on the left hand side, you have the option to filter out the type of graphic that you're looking for. So since we've decided we're going to post this on Instagram, we're just going to select Instagram and it's going to filter out all of the other graphics that were on the screen. And it's only going to show you the ones that are sized and ready to go for Instagram. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll through here and you're going to find something that tickles your fancy and you're going to open up that template and you're going to update it with your branding, your logo, your, your photos, your verbiage, all of that. Listen, if you are someone that is not um, proficient with, um, with Canva and you uh, are in the beginning stages, templates are your best friends. There is no reason why you should be re reinventing the wheel with all of these templates that they have inside of Canva. So find you a template you like and edit that template. Now, if you are on the free account, you're gonna need to kind of go through these and see which ones are free. Now, this is not free. This is considered a pro. Um, when you see free with the crown, it says as a Canva Pro subscriber, you get this premium image for free, okay? So I am a Canva Pro user. So you wanna go through and look for a graphic that doesn't have that on here. So this this would be considered a free graphic you could use. This is a free graphic. Um, this one would be free. So you just kind of, this one is free as well. So you just go through and find one that is going to uh, work for your free account, okay? If you have the pro account, you can choose any of these you want to use and it will be fine. So I've already selected a graphic that I wanted to use and I've already updated it because um, I didn't want to waste your time doing that in the tutorial. Um, so I went ahead and found a template and I updated, you know, the photo. I added in some of my brand colors here. And then one thing that I did add to this graphic that it was not on this graphic is I added an animated circle. And the reason I added the animated circle because I wanted to indicate to the person that was seeing the content that, hey, there's some audio here. You don't necessarily have to use an animated circle. You have other options. So you want to go to elements, open up elements, and you can type in sound wave. And you'll have some odd options here. You can even take it a step further and only select animated so you can filter out the type of sound wave that you're looking for and it will show you only animated sound waves, right? So then you can add the sound wave here if you wanted to and then adjust the sizing. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I added the circle, but that's an option for you. You can type in sound on if you want to actually put that on the graphic and you wanted to see an animated sound on, you could put that on the graphic as well to let the reader know that, hey, turn the sound on. So I'm not going to use that one either. Um, so and then you have circle. So that was the other option here. Um, you could type in circle and you can get some animated circles that would maybe work for the graphic that you created. OK, so just I added that there. So that's all you would have to do now. Now on to the fun part. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to uploads. And this is where you're going to upload your audio clip. Now, inside of Canva, you have the option to upload images, videos, and audio. 
right? So you're going to go to upload media and you're going to upload that sound bite from your computer, from your phone into your Canva account. As you can see, I've already done that. So this is actually the audio I'm going to use for this tutorial. Um, but if you have not recorded or you don't know, if you don't have a podcast and you're actually just creating a graphic, but you want to put a sound bite behind it, here's a little hack for you. Go into your Zoom hit record and just record the sound bite. That's what I did for this tutorial. I went into my Zoom and I recorded a quick 16 second sound bite and I uploaded it into my Canva. So you can do that if you're not someone with a podcast and you're actually just creating a graphic and you want to put a sound bite behind it, you can do it that way as well. And so you're gonna up, go to upload media, upload that sound bite into your Canva, and then you're going to drag and drop that sound bite onto the graphic. So you're just gonna drag it and drop it. That's all you do. And once you drag and drop, you're going to see at the bottom here, audiogram. This is the audiogram um, that I uploaded into uh, Canva. And you're going to see here, you can tap it. And at the top, you're able to adjust the timing. Now, depending on how long your sound bite is, it may take it a few minutes to upload into Canva. This was only 16 seconds. So it only took a couple of seconds to upload it into my Canva account. So depending on how long it is, it may take it a little bit longer, right? So then you're able to adjust um, here where you want the sound bite to start and end. And as you can hear here, how to create an audiogram inside of Canva for free. You do not want to miss this, so make sure you check out my latest YouTube video so that you can grab all of the tea. And that's it. And so one thing that I want you to pay attention to is that when you maybe you hit play and you're like, wait, it's only showing me five seconds of the audio where this was a 40 second clip. You want to tap anywhere outside of the graphic and you want to go to timing and you want to adjust the timing to what it should be, right? So this is, I actually edited the clip from 16 seconds to 14.5 seconds um, to take out some of that dead space where I was recording. And I put 14.5 seconds in here. And so you want to make sure you adjust the timing if you do uh, see that there's an error there, okay? And then the next thing you're going to do is just select download. You're going to download your MP4 and post it wherever you want to post it. So where there's one on Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever you're going to be posting it, you're going to do that at that point. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Drop them in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.